again, I swear to everything that is holy. I love this team so much because occasionally they're just pure comedy. I, I Dios mio. Now, it, it made a lot of sense where you have Quasi Adolfo Mensa, first time GM, maybe get someone in the front office that had previous GM experience to be a senior advisor, but not this. Not this. So, per get Ben Gessling, uh, per everyone, the Vikings will be adding former Colts GM Ryan Grigson to the front office in a senior personnel position, a source said, where it's just. Woo! Ryan Grigson, who is renowned as potentially the worst GM in the last two decades of the league. We're just everything hilarious. Just, just, just amazing, man. But background. Yeah. So Ryan Grigson was a player back in the day. I mean, he's like six, six, 300 pounds, man. Former lineman worked his way up as a scout, uh, got his start with the Eagles as a scout, then player personnel became the Colts GM in 2012 through 2016. And was just, <laughs> Uh, he spent the last two years in Cleveland with good friend Andrew Barry as well as Quasey. They developed a relationship, so that's why Grigson is here, right? So, first off, so Grigson will forever be known as the guy who traded a first-round pick for Trent Richardson. Uh, Trent Richardson, who was a bust and a bum with the Browns, he's like, I got to get me some of that. So they trade a first-round pick for Trent Richardson, who uh, eventually ended up in the AAF, which fantastic also Grigson will forever be known as the the snitch who started to flakegate he was the one in the AFC title game between the Colts and the Patriots who tipped off the league and Troy Vincent is like hey some of these balls might be deflated so that those are the two things that Ryan Grigson will be forever known for just fantastic starting off that multi-year controversy where it just flooded the sports talk airways and it was the dumbest scandal of all time it wasn't even a scandal as more details are starting to come out about that troy vincent might be in a little bit of trouble but yeah yeah he was the guy who started that just because his colts were getting their ass handed to him by the patriots like hey those balls look deflated man ah, okay but the Trent Richardson trade is just uh, amazing. And, and yeah, Griggs, Grigson does deserve a little bit of credit. Uh, he, uh, during his time with the Colts, his five season there, they went 49 and 41, including three and three in the playoffs. And they made the AFC title game, which we alluded to. <laughs> also, you talk about draft history. So starting with the 2012 draft, he took Andrew Luck. Congratulations for taking the best player when uh, your team had the number one overall pick. I guess you could have taken RG3. I guess you could have taken Matt Khalil, but again, congratulations. Also, ooh, Kobe Fleener. Hey, you, you know that the number one overall pick, his favorite receiver from Stanford? Yeah, let's take him. There you go. Did find T.Y. Hilton in the third round coming out of Florida. Florida Atlantic or International? I think it's Florida International. Doesn't matter, but yeah, T.Y. Hilton in the third. Uh, that, that's a nice kid. And then it gets a little bit hazy. It, it gets a little bit fuzzy. 2013, Bern Werner, which did not work out at, at all. Just fantastic. And then going forward, uh, yeah, they didn't have a first-round pick in 2014 because they traded for Trent Richardson. Woo! Took Dante Moncrief in the third round. Going to go get some, man. And then also, uh, first-round pick in 2015, Philip Dorsett. Philip Dorsett. Which is great. Henry Anderson was pretty damn solid. Clint Gathers. Oh, former Vikings legend David Perry. Remember him from back in the day? It was good times. And then his final draft, yes, he finally took Ryan Kelly, pretty damn solid center, uh, the, the centerpiece of the current Colts offensive line. And then uh, what, Joe, Joe Hag was solid. Awesome Blythe has been bouncing around. Sure, so wh whatever there. But his main problem with the Colts is the problem that has been playing in the Vikings, where the offensive line has not been great. And frankly, the la – the, Ryan Grigson's inability to build an offensive line in front of Andrew Luck is probably one of the reasons why Andrew Luck retired early because he kept getting murdered and murdered and murdered behind murky offensive lines. And then he's like, hey, I don't need these injuries. I'm an engineer. I'm going to lose 50 pounds and then grow a weird mustache. Shit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm Andrew Luck. So I don't know. Like, for. <laughs> it's just funny, man. It's just hilarious. Where you could not script this any better. Like, Hey, like if I gave you the challenge to find me the most hilarious front office hire to bring into the Vikings, uh, someone football related, we're not talking about, I don't know, Dennis Miller, but it couldn't get better than Ryan Grigson, man. It's just, 
It's just great. Uh, unless you brought in uh, Rick Spielman uh, uh, with a mustache on and called him Mick Dealman. Yeah, go ahead. But as long as Grigson advises Quasey and Quasey does the opposite of everything that Grigson advises him to do, this could work out. But <laughs> just just gets better and better, man. But your thoughts on our thoughts. The Vikings are hiring Ryan Grigson for some reason. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.